Have you ever heard about triploid plants? Or wondered how watermelons can be seedless? Well, we are gonna dive into the science of polyploids. Inside every cell, plants have tiny packets of DNA called chromosomes. Now, most living things, like you and me, have two sets of chromosomes, one from each parent making us diploids. But when it comes to plants, things can get wild. Sometimes that number can go from two to three to four to six or even eight, and that's called polyploid. Let's dive deeper into that. Now, before we jump into polyploids, we do need to discuss the minimalist of the group, haploids. These are cells that only have one chromosome. While very rare in adult mature plants, they play a critical role in reproduction. Think of a pollen cell carrying a single set of instructions to the next generation. Most plants you know are diploid. They have two sets of chromosomes, which is perfect for balanced growth and safe reproduction. They are nature's standard. Now triploid plants is where it gets very interesting. These cells have three sets of chromosomes, which actually makes it really hard for them to reproduce, but gives us incredible things like seedless watermelon. Now let's keep going with four sets of chromosomes. That's a tetraploid. And the most common example you'll hear about is with potatoes. Now, wild potatoes are diploids, but the ones you get in grocery stores, those big tubers, now those are tetraploids because four sets of chromosomes means bigger cells and bigger fruits and flowers. Another great example is with daylilies. Those amazing giant blooms are from their tetraploid cells. And then there's hexaploid. A great example of this is wheat. With six sets of chromosomes, this is one of the most versatile crops out there. This robust count of chromosomes gives the wheat an incredible ability to resist heat, cold, drought, and pests, and also increases the range in which the wheat can be grown. Just amazing. Cool. Finally, let's talk about the giants of the polyploid world, octoploids. My favorite example is strawberries. Those giant strawberries you see in the supermarket, they have eight sets of chromosomes compared to the much smaller wild versions that you'll find, which are all diploid. Polyploids aren't just fascinating, they're a driving force in plant evolution. By reshuffling chromosomes, plants can adapt, thrive, and even form entirely new species. It is one of nature's coolest hacks. So like and subscribe to learn more.